I said this wasn't going to be a weekly vlog, I wasn't going to do one, and here we are. Currently doing one, you're on front camera because I just don't have the energy to turn it around. But, um, it's currently Monday, so I mean, not too far into the week. Um, drinking out of my glass straw because... You know, save the turtles. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I've had a good day. It's. Um, I'll show you a little like what I bought yes, like today, tomorrow. But <laughs> does that make sense? I don't know. Um, because I've like done my room up a bit. Like, not really. There's like hardly any difference. Um, but I've just, just you know done some, done some of the things. So I'll show you them tomorrow when it's like light and it's nice outside. Um, but yeah, I had my lecture today. I went to the gym, had a great time, bought some shit, came back. Um, I think we're gonna. I think um, most people have gone to Lidl. Um, Katie's drove them to Lidl and they're going food shopping. And then because we're not going out Wednesday because we were gonna go out, it was traffic light night. So like because it's Valentine's Day on friday do i have plans no my boyfriend's away so i'll be just just sat in bed not doing fuck all um and so we were like well we're not going out wednesday because yeah what i was saying it's traffic light night which means if you're um in a relationship you wear red if it's complicated you wear orange and if you're single you wear green so i was gonna go out but there's like a game um going on like so the girls that i live with do cheer so they're going to obviously like perform to like their cheer thing and then they have to go straight to miyagi's like uh club to get the tickets for the night so they were saying it's gonna be a bit of a rush and i've just realized that um well also i don't want to tan and like because it's my tan's still like kind of on i need to like scrub it off however um I have, I've like ran out of all my makeup, so I'd have to buy makeup, buy alcohol, and my gym membership comes out this week, I'm pretty sure, so I'm going to have to pay for that, so Tate then suggested, why don't, tonight, we just go to O'Neill's, just a little, like, pub kind of bar thing, um, down the road, just go for a couple of drinks, so, just shoved on some, I just look so red, I just shoved on some concealer and mascara, and I soaked my brows, so I put some soap in them, which I've been doing recently. Who fucking knew I had thick brows? You probably can't see because I'm on front camera, it's shade quality. Um, but who knew? I have like no brows, but here we are. Thick brow club with some brows. And then I've just like lightly filled them in. Like this one I had to fill in a bit more, hence why it looks a bit more like chiselled. But this one was like looking great. So that's the plan well hopefully it is when they come back um i've just poured myself a gin and coke because i have like a bit of gin left and a bit of coke so it doesn't really go but hey ho yeah i wasn't gonna film a weekly vlog because i thought it'd just be boring because i'm not going out probably be the same repetitive stuff as like last week and blah 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 but here we are, we're just going to do one, um, we're just going to keep up the consistency, and that's basically it. Wow, this is a four minute introduction, I'm going to try and make my video shorter, how, because I just uploaded my last weekly vlog and it was 49 minutes. So, I really need to stop that. Look how big my nose looks, because it's like just red. It's my mascara, oh god. Yeah, I'm not looking too good, but yeah, I'm just going to show on like a jumper and some trousers and maybe fucking powder this nose. Look how red it is. And then just slick my hair a bit more. That's the plan. <sighs> have I had a productive day? No. Oh my god, my hair looks so long. Oh, that's a bit gross. 
to the penny party, but anyway, um, oh, someone just replied to my story saying that my uni videos are their favourite thing to watch, that's nice, I keep burping, am I drunk? No. Uh, I really need to go to the toilet. I've been watching Olivia. Sorry, you're still on front camera, so it's bad quality. Um, I've been watching Olivia Neal, and she's just funny. I think that's why I'm in a hyper mood because whenever you watch her, you're like, um, my boyfriend likes watching her as well. Um, we'll both like watch her together and be like, oh, she's just uploaded a video. She's so funny, but um. Yeah, I'm going to go to the toilet. Uh, you're not going to come with me, unfortunately. Um, sorry about that. But, yes. Your one. Yours is the posh one. Next to my Aldi version. <gasps> right. Okay, so this is my outfit. Um, I wanted to go for something like casual here. I wanted to go with like a bralette and like a little jumper, however it's fucking freezing, it's like a storm outside, so we've gone for this, which I'm really sad about, this used to be like one of my favourite jumpers, however it's like shrank in the wash, um, like it doesn't look like it, but it was like massive, like it was like down to here, it was baggy, it was comfy, and now it's like itchy, not itchy, but like, you know that hard material when you like wash it, um, on the inside, so it's not as warm. And then just my leather trousers and converse, even though I'm not wearing those out. Um, I put some hairspray on my hair and it's kind of fucking ruined it. Um, it kind of just looks greasy. Um, yeah, that's that. Do 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 do. Here we are, ladies and gents. I'm like a primary school teacher, don't I? Oh, wow. Um. Okay, I'm actually pretty drunk, not gonna lie. Um, we're currently at a nails. You probably can't hear me. And I'm just on front camera, so it's probably bad quality. And yeah, I've just bought a whole bottle of wine. I'm poor, but you know, spend ten pounds a bottle of wine, which is normally like four pounds in Tesco. But you know, we move, we carry on. Um, that's absolutely it. Like we're, I'm just drunk on a Monday, and I'm going to go gym tomorrow. Is it going to happen? Maybe not. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, let's have a look. See you later, ladies and gents. Okay, so. Ooh, obviously, I was already like quite tipsy before I went out, and I bought a whole bottle of wine for like £10. Why did I do that? I literally have no money. Um,. Now I need to buy some stuff as well. My sunglasses. Um, I woke up this morning. I, I couldn't even remove my makeup. Like, I thought I was going to be sick yesterday. Um, I was in the toilet, like, trying to throw up. And don't drink white wine. I can drink, like, a glass of white wine and I'm pissed and on the floor, so a bottle. <laughs> rose doesn't do that to me, I should have just got rose, but I like white wine. And I couldn't even remove my makeup, I just had to remove it now. I had like mascara all down me. I don't know how my bed wasn't more ruined. Like, I literally think I came in and I haven't changed position because half my bed was still like made perfectly. Um, but yeah, clearly I'm not going to the gym today. Um, but I didn't think, oh, I feel a bit flabby, the, um, but that's fine, like, one day in the week I won't go, like, last week it was Wednesday, 
this week I planned for it to be Thursday because obviously um because I'm just gonna put you there if you can see me you probably can I'm just gonna remove, remove um and then I planned for it to be Thursday this week because I thought I was gonna be hungover. So this week I'll plan for it to be today. Because my leg is kind of oh my god. My leg's kind of hurt. Do they hurt? No, I'm making excuses. I could go after my lecture. But I just don't fancy it. The only reason I wake up is because um my alarm went off. I don't even know what time it is, I think it's like half eight. Clothes just shoved there like I was in a bad way. Oh, it's crazy. Okay, so I've actually filmed nothing today because I was so hungover. Where can I put you? See, you See me there? Okay. Not. Yeah, you can try to see that. Um, yeah, because I've been just basically. Um, I was really hungover. I didn't go to the gym. Fuck, I'm going to have to go to the gym early tomorrow, aren't I? Um, and basically, I went for my seminar, and then me and we had like the essay due in like three weeks. So we went to the library and just like got some books out and stuff. And then I basically came home, made dinner, and we've just spent ages. Well, you people have just cleaned the kitchen. We spent ages making TikToks. Um, oh my god, I am. Who are we? Are we famous yet? No. I would have filmed it because it was so funny. However, oh, we were using my phone to film them. Well, I could have not. However, we, Phoebe's coming up now to watch Love Island. And yeah, basically, that's all I've been doing today. So, so I've got the camera out. I've just been feeling a bit, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna film the rest of this other TikTok. I'll insert the TikToks we've made. They've been so random. Signs that you may be living as a uni student. A full bin. A full sink. Clean things that haven't been put away. A full recycling bin. A really clean cooker. <coughs> A piece of food that's been here for so long that I don't remember the first time seeing it. A random mug full of water? I don't know. A dying plant. A fridge with half an onion. Stuff that's been here since last semester. Random shit that's been on the floor for so long. Random shit all over the table so there's no room to sit down and eat. A random corner for clothes and other shit that we don't use. And of course, finally... Cards Against Humanity! <laughs> People on TikTok go viral for literally the dumbest reasons possible. Like, watch this. That was just brushing my teeth and stuff before the island. I'll show you actually my decorations even though it's dark. Oh, that was good. Okay, so this is basically what I've done to this area. I've moved it round. So here, I've bought some frames from Poundland. So I've just got these little ones here. And then I've got my little candle, but first makeup thing, and then my plant there. And then, oh, and then it's just this. I've got a little llama next to my giraffe. So it's all like, oh, that needs to go in the bin. But yeah, it's all like cute now. This is my room. These are my... Things. Hello, all very pink and nice. Hee hee. I want to get a new chair for next year because it's just not a good vibe. But yeah, oh, I need to get my laptop. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. Um, I'm just about to go to the gym. Going obviously quite a bit later. Well, I'm not later, but I'm going to get the quarter to nine bus 
I would like to start going at eight when I actually have like a lot more work to do. Like I have a lot of work to do now, but not as much as I will do. So I think when oh, I'm left thinking now. So when I have um like loads of deadlines, I think I will um either go just on the weekend or um go try and go really early and I get the first bus that goes into there because otherwise I end up getting back at twelve. And then that's like late, and then like then I have lunch, and then I start work at like one. And it's just a bit, it's not that good. So I'm gonna try and get a lot of reading done today for um, my essay due. Mm, see what happens with that. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I have nothing. Uh, I have no lectures today or anything. Um, what is cool? God, my nose keeps running. Um, yeah, I might film um, an ab workout like next week when I'm tanned because my body does not look very nice right now because it is pale and patchy. Um, obviously, I won't be able to do it in the gym because I've had loads of messages for like, my gym routine. But obviously, I've only been doing it for like two weeks and I've done the same thing as I did like last year and stuff but I don't do much because I do a lot of cardio and then abs and then a bit of bum and I literally do the same thing every time like I don't have an ab arm workout shoulder I don't want to build any muscle here I want to just lose fat but I'm not going to go on the I usually start off going on the row machine however I feel like that's giving my arms a bit more muscle and my legs which I don't want so I'm gonna, and also I'm just bored of it, like I always go, oh fuck, so I'm gonna have to go on that. So I think I'm gonna go on the elliptical for like 10 minutes instead. Um, and then I'm gonna try this HIIT workout on the treadmill, where you like run really fast for 30 seconds and then you don't stop for like 90 seconds I think, or something like that. Which doesn't sound that hard, but she was sweating after, and apparently it makes you lose weight more, so that's the plan. I'm wearing just basic black jumper, grey jumper. Blue sports bra, black leggings. Um, I need to get some new gym wear, but I'm too poor at the moment. Um, my gym membership just came out, um, so I'm skinned. Um, I literally zero money. Zero money. Um, but I want to get some orange ones. I want the other colours of these because I swear they have them, but they've sold out of these, so then I can't like search up and then find the other colours. So I've come back from the gym and had my lunch. The bus driver was really like, normally they stop at every stop, like you don't need to put your hand out like a normal bus. But he was like, cover going past. And I was like, and then he was like, and I got on the bus and he was like, next time you actually have to put your hand out. And I was like, no one's ever done that before. But my individual report has just been released, the mark. So basically what we had to do was, this is funny, so we had like our group report and stuff for research and then we just had to like talk about how it went in our personal opinion and shit like that. And I tried to like make it really good, or well, not good, but like average. So like I basically talked about everything that he said in the lecture, like he wanted you to talk about you going on to dissertation and all this stuff. So, I mean, he marks really badly though, like he's really always marks people down and but I'm never good at like talking about how things went so <laughs> but I'm really scared to see what my grade is if it's two to I'm really, really sad because so far because everything's done quite well, bad in our research so I'm a two one do you know what I mean like I'm like a mid to low two one in my research module so if this is like a two two we're gonna be fucking it'll be really Taking it down, it's gonna be so bad. It's gonna... If it's if it's twenty percent, I'm gonna be fucking annoyed. Oh god, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Wait, how do I know? Fuck. Why is he such a bad marker? I've done everything he said about. Fuck. There was a little part of me that thought that it may have got a good grade. <gasps> do you know what? I'm so fucking happy that next year in third year we don't have to do any research stuff and obviously our dissertation but like there's no module for it because he's actually like I want to take 
food next year as a module. But he does it and he's just such a bad marker. Oh, fuck's sake. I got, oh, I'll tell you what I got. I got 55. So that's... <laughs> so two two. So bad. I never get, I've never got a two two before. I've never got a two two before. Have I? No. No, I've never had a two two before. I've always had like two ones. Why is my approach to the task satisfactory when I literally put in Mark Sue Diamond? Oh fuck, okay, he didn't even mark it. Thank you for any comments with the dirt. It seems that one member of the group became not only a dictator, but also possibly a bully. This is a worry and I wish that it had been brought to my attention. It's a pity that you were not able to give more evidence as you know Snapchat may not done everything that they spoke about fuck me evidence was included of group chat we well, yeah it was meant to be why is she put it red for those level of ref reflection and evidence of learning and development i only got satisfactory evaluation of group dynamics and performance satisfactory precision and use of evidence well i use the evidence and it's satisfactory I think we got a mid 2 1 for the presentation, which I wasn't at. And then for the group report, we got 60. I think ev almost every group got 60. Well, every group that I've spoken to, and then this is 55. Oh, fuck's sake. I hope that levels out. Oh, no, it won't, will it? Because this is 40%. The group report was 40%, and then the other one's tw 20. Um, so that means that I'll probably get a two two in this fuck sake. Oh. I'm definitely, um, <sighs> that means I'm going to have to just do so well in my other stuff because I wanted a first this year, so I don't think it's going to happen because I already don't understand the essay that I've got to do now and the essay I've got to do for emotions, so... Pretty well so far. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can see me. However, I'm about to choose my options for next year. I don't know whether I've said this, but basically, the list we got given last year to choose for this year, um, we chose one for the term one and one for term two. And no, it turns out it's the same list again. So I'm kind of annoyed that I picked. Like, I was, I picked family and then I changed it to emotions because I was like, oh, which one's easier? So I've ended up doing my easier one this year when I should have done it next year. So I'm going to pick that. I don't know what to do for term one, though. Um, for sec, for the, what is it called? For term two next year, I'm going to pick food and family because they're the ones I'm interested in. I don't really like learning about class and stuff. Um, um, what am I looking for? Right, so basically in term one we have, I can choose out, I can do media um, ones. However, when like they'll write their essays different to us. So someone who done our race and racism one done a history degree and he ends up getting a bad mark because he's not used to how we write our essays so I've got obviously my dissertation I can then choose okay so in num in term one challenging global inequality 
consumer society, gender and sexuality, health, well-being and happiness, physical culture, health and sport, racism and racism, which I can't fucking take because I've done it last year, sociology of culture, taste, value and celebrity, violence, war and society. And I was going to pick health, well-being and happiness because it's basically the same as my emotion one this year. But then I'm like, oh, it's just going to be the same. And then it's two essays. I may as well make my life easier. So I think I'm going to do sociology of culture, taste, value, and celebrity. Because I don't like stuff to do with, like, marks and class. However, taste, like, the class tastes, you know, be better to have one like that. Or consumer society. Oh, fuck, I don't know. And then maybe I could do gender and sexuality. Why did I not do race and racism for this year? Because we have to pick two. And then for the second one, um, there's emotions and social life, which I can't do because I'm doing it this year. Equality and liberation, theorising social justice, family, career and generation, food, culture and society, social power, elites and descent. So the only ones that sound interesting are, I'm just going to do, yeah, family, food. These are like a jumble of fun, don't they? Yay! First year, I literally used to get, have so many books. Like I literally have like thirty hours at a time. <sighs> Let's channel that first year enthusiasm and try and read these today, today and tomorrow, today and tomorrow. <sighs> so this is my dinner for tonight. I've just got oh fuck's sake, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, see, I've got a shitload of mayo because oh mayo is the best thing in the world. Then I've got parsnips and potatoes that I've just put in the oven. Coleslaw, couscous, chicken breast with Nando's sauce on. So yeah, yummy. Okay, so this is pasta. Oh. Hair in my mouth. This is pasta. I'm going to turn on the gas. my candle, set it on fire, oh I hate fire, worst fear, We light a candle without a match. Do you ever do that when you have a glass bottle or something? You hit the top of your people's. Yes, no, I always. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna piss myself. I went, I wasn't gonna go to the gym until like midday. I was just so tired and I was like, oh. But then I woke up and I was basically fine. Yeah. So I was like, let's go. This was so um, rainy. Like, it was actually horrendous. Like the worst rain I've ever seen. And I was like soaked. Like my feet were soaked. So oh, it's nice to be in the warm. Okay, so I've had my lunch. I'm just, I'm going to start my work at like one. But I ordered stuff for Baywatch for from Pretty Little Thing to arrive today, and it's still not even with the is it courier, carrier. And it's like half twelve, and I ordered it yesterday at like one, and I have next day delivery. And normally, it's been like delivered between like ten and twelve. That's like the normal thing, but it's not even with them yet. Guarantee it won't get delivered today. It's pretty shit. Okay, so my Baywatch stuff has arrived. Um, I want to get this in black. I actually had it in my um, basket in black. And I was going to get it. And they only have one more size. Like, when it says last few remaining, it literally means they only have, like, one or two. So they only have, like, one or two blacks left, which I want to get. I want to get the black. But the white's cute. Um, you can just pull it up and down so you can actually make it, like, proper thing. 
and these shorts you can see my pants <laughs> so i'll have to wear like some nude film pants um but yeah this is a little outfit i feel like a little lifeguard Oh, I'm gonna be freezing. Like I'm actually gonna freeze to death wearing this on the night out. I don't even know. I think they've got it wrong though. I think it's literally in two weeks' time um, because next week is Pride on the actual website, like well, for like Pop World. However, on our like chat, it says Baywatch next week and then Pride. So they might have mixed it round, not knowing when Thingy's gonna do Pride. So yes, here I am. Boom. Okay, so I've just made my, well, I made my dinner. And I've just eaten it, I've just had a, like a little curry, but with pasta, not rice. And I've just put on a face mask, because my skin is just not, I need to buy like some bio oil or something. Then that's oil, so what if that breaks out my skin? Because I'm getting a spot here, like one of those under ones, but all of these here, all of like the redness, they're not even spots, but they're just scars and they just still haven't gone away. So, Put on a face mask. I need to get something to get rid of acne scarring, to be honest, because it's just crazy. And it's only on this side, like this side of my face is fine. So I don't know whether it's, I mainly sleep on this side of my face. So maybe it's my pillow and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, I've always had it mainly on this side, so I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. Just gonna drink some water. I'm gonna wash up in a minute and then just chill for the rest of the night oh i didn't show um i've done reading i've read the two books that i need to read i made notes on them um so that's all good i still feel like i don't know that much so i think on the weekend i've booked in for a class on saturday so i'll go to the gym and maybe i'll do my shopping on saturday no because there's no buses that run actually um so t I need to go and do a food shop tomorrow, but then I don't know. Yeah, no, I'll do a food shop tomorrow. Um, after I've met up with my group and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll watch it off. Oh, fuck knows. I need to work it out. Um, and I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, basically, I've got a face mask on. I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. So... Okay, so I'm just on my way to my lecture and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I think I'm gonna come back and do a food shop um, and get the bus there, but then maybe get an Uber back because I wanna go to the big one and will I then walk to the bus stop? I'll see how heavy my bags are. Um, but yeah, this is just my outfit, ready for gym. Okay guys, so I went to the library. No, what am I on about? Um, I went to my lecture and that went from nine till ten and then i've um i went to the gym it was an all right workout um and then i was like right i'll do my food so i was meant to meet my group at one then i had a what was i at? um so i was like right i need to do my food shop however i won't be able to carry it all if i go to like big tesco and then try and get it back onto the bus so i was like right i'll do my cupboard stuff so that when I meet my group, like it's not frozen or chilled, so it's not going to go weird. So I done that, but it was so heavy, and I was walking past, like going to the library, and my arms were killing, and I, the bus was there, and I was like, and this was about like twelve, and I was like, right, I'd already bought as well, which was quite annoying. I bought a Greg stick, uh, chicken bake, even though I had food from like yesterday for lunch, like I had leftovers from my dinner, um. So I was like, right, I'll get on the thing, I'll put my this food back and then I'll quickly get the bus and I'll just be like, get to the group meeting called pass, come back here. And one of the girls isn't going to the group meeting. So there's only three of us and Sophie's like, oh, still come, please come. But like, I still need to go on the bus to Big Tesco, get back on the bus and come all the way around to here. Like, I'm not going to be able to go then go to the library to meet her and... So, yeah, I hate doing a food shop when I live here. It's so annoying because I can't, like, that was a struggle enough just to carry, like, some of that. Um, but, yeah, I was just going to go straight to the library now. 
and then get the bus all the way around to Tesco and then so but there's no point in me doing that I may as well do it now and if all of us aren't there we can't decide who's doing what and stuff so we may as well just do some more reading but yeah that's the thing so I need to have a shower but I'll go I'll be all sweaty from carrying my shopping anyway that is the plan oh and I had I tried this because I oh it's Valentine's Day happy Valentine's Day um my boyfriend's on exercise because he's in the army so he's there for like six weeks so I don't see him till March the 6th March the 8th I don't know he went and bought loads of these and I've never tried them so whisper gold and this is the same amount of calories, I think, as what I just burnt off at the gym. Very annoying. Okay, so I've had my dinner. I don't actually know the last thing I filmed. Um, but I was just eating my dinner, you know, just chilling. And then these came. So, um, Connor actually sent me. They came with a little chocolate. Um, which I'm going to have when I watch Love Island with like a nice cup of tea. He bought me some roses, which is really cute. I need to get a better vase for them because they're <laughs> at the moment because I've put them in like, just my glass. Um, so I'll get a nice little vase for them um, soon, hopefully. Oh, I could put them in that. I might do. Hmm, I've got this little thing here, which they may sit better in um hmm. we'll see we'll see but yeah i just need to get a nice vase anyway um just for life you know so probably go to poundland <laughs> um but yeah i'm just gonna have a cup of tea and stuff when love island starts i need to do some washing and then i was gonna wash my bedding but i may as well do that after I've like fake tanned if I go out on Wednesday. Um also coronavirus virus has hit Portsmouth. And I'm here for another two weeks. I do not want to get on a train and go back home because I will probably catch it. So that's fun. That's fuck. <laughs> I don't want to go home. But yeah, so this has been the end of this weekly vlog. I know it's been really random, like, I think it's because I wasn't meant to film. Like, I was going to, like, just not film this week. And so when I just started, I was, like, still in my head, like, oh, I'm not filming this week. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I am. So, yeah, apologies if it's just been a bit boring. It's probably just been shorter than my other ones. But, like, um, I don't really film when I'm downstairs with my housemates or anything. But I probably should because it's quite like funny and stuff like when we were doing all those tiktoks and watching these films but like yeah so that's basically it so thank you so much for watching um i really appreciate anyone who watches this and, and thumbs it up thank you so much um so yeah love you and i'll see you next week Okay, okay, so change of plan. I'm actually not going to watch the band. We're going to have a girls' wine night and watch some films. It's only me, Sophie, and Meg who's in the house. Um, however, start of this week, I was like, yeah, no, I won't drink anything. Yeah, no, it's going to be a really chill week. Um, yeah, I've had like quite a lot of alcohol this week, unintentionally. Second, I'm turning into a fabulous alcoholic and I'm not complaining. So yeah.